are going to explain the heating curve and the cooling curve. To understand today's topic, you need to watch the previous video. You will find the link in the description section. Starting from the explanation of the heating curve, we will, we will discuss how the temperature change as the solid is heated to its melting point and bijot. So as we can see from the graph, going from A to B, if we are taking a solid or a liquid, when we heat it, the temperature will increase and it will become maximum. At B, the kinetic energy of the substance is maximum and the substance will ch start changing into a liquid if it is a solid and it will start boiling if it is a liquid. If we are heating a liquid, then it will start boiling. So from B to C, the temperature of the substance does not rise. Why it does not rise? We are going to discuss it at the end of the video. So at from B to C, we will observe both the states. If we are heating a solid, then from B to C, we will find both the states, like the solid as it has started melting. So we will observe the solid and liquid both from B to C. At C, all the solid has melted and here we will find only the liquid substance. And from C to C to D, the temperature of the liquid will start rising and it will become maximum at D. Now, coming to the cooling curve, as you can see on the board that if we are cooling gas or the vapors, then from E to F, the temperature of the substance will decrease. It will become minimum and the substrate change will start occurring from F to G. So, at F, all the gas will start condensing and from F to G, we will find both the states like the gas and the liquid. And if we are cooling a liquid, then both the states, solid and liquid, we'll observe from F to G. At G, all the substance has changed. If, it, if we are cooling a gas, all the substance has changed to a liquid. And if we have taken a liquid, then all the substance has changed to a solid. So from G to H, the temperature of the changed state now start decreasing. Now what happens from B to C in the heating curve and from F to G in a cooling curve? We, as you can see on the board, the boiling or the melting which is a state change occurs from B to C. Why the temperature becomes, why this line has become horizontal and the temperature does not change? The reason is all the heat we are providing is used to break the bonding and doesn't increase the kinetic energy of the particles. So the temperature does not rise. As the question comes in GCSE's exam, that why temperature does not rise whenever the state is changing, whether it is, it is a heating curve or it is a cooling curve. So the answer is same. During the state change, all the heat which we are providing is used to break the bond, so the temperature does not rise. And to explain the cooling curve, why the temperature does not drop from F to G, the explanation is all the heat is released as the particle of the liquid or the gas are attracted to each other as the bonding is developing because bond making is exothermic, heat is released. So whatever the heat will release, it will go to the surrounding and does not drop the temperature of the substance or the state whatever it has it's been changing so from f to g there is no drop in the temperature because the state is changing and all the heat which is being released it goes to the environment to wrap up we will we'll see uh, what type of the past paper questions uh, we can answer from this explanation. The first question we discussed was why temperature does not rise during the state change. As we, I have already answered it that the, during the state change, if it is a heating curve, then bonds are breaking and all energy is used to break this bond. And in the cooling curve, bonds are making and bond making, during the bond making, the energy is released. So the temperature does not change in the cooling and the heating curve when there is a state change. And the second question that you observe in the past papers is in the heating and the cooling curve, at what point do you observe both the states uh, occurring? So if it is a heating curve, then from B to C, as the solid has started melting, so there will be solid and liquid both present from B to C. And in the cooling curve, if you, if you are cooling a liquid, then from F to G, both solid and liquid are present. And if you are cooling a gas, then from F to G, both gas and the liquids are present. 
So these are the two past paper questions which we usually observe uh, uh, from today's topic. I hope today's lecture will help you and answer the past paper questions. If you find, if you find, uh, if you want to know the explanation of any other question, please write in the comment section. I will answer it. Thank you so much. I'll see you again.